Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dulcia. I'm very excited that you're here today with me because in this highly requested video, I'm gonna talk everything you need to know about isomalt, how does it taste, how to prepare it, among many other questions my followers have asked due to my now well-known piñata cookies. So without further to say, let's get into it. And before moving on to the demo and show you how to use this product to decorate your cookies, I want to tell you that the isomalt is a type of sugar alcohol and it's primarily used because it's sugar-like properties and composition and you can actually find it in a lot of diabetic and diet products. Um, the, this industry uses it a lot in substitution of the common and regular sugar because it has a very low impact in blood uh, sugar levels and the taste is exactly the same as any sugar candy like a lollipop. Also another important fact that I want to share with you is that the isomalt is not going to promote sugar decay just as any other uh, regular sugar. This is an odorless white crystalline substance that has about 5% of water crystallization which makes it perfect for all bakers uh, to produce hair candy like the cookies I make and it is just amazing because it holds its shapes and it's never going to be crystallized as long as you make it correctly. In comparison with sugar, isomalt possess a very specific character. It's not going to absorb the moisture in the air and makes it just perfect to prevent crystallization once you learn how to do it. And also another benefit is that it possesses the quality of resist high temperature without changing its clear color in comparison with sugar, which will turn into caramel. And after answering most of your questions and concerns, I want to show you the isomalt that I use on my cookies, which is this one from the company CK Products. I'm gonna leave the link down below in case you wanna go and check it out. Of course, I use the bulk presentation due to the demand of the cookies that I have to bake every week, but you can use the small presentation if you just wanna give it a shot and see if that one works for you. Always remember that if you have any questions and concerns about your cookies and why they're not coming out the way you want them or the way they look on my tutorials, it is probably because you're not using the products that I always recommend because those are the ones that I've been trying and testing in my kitchen so I can talk and have an assumption of what's going on uh, with your cookies just if you use the ones that I use. So I strongly recommend to use these ones because I've been using them for a long time and I've been trying different ones and just the ones uh, that I show you in each video I make are the ones that have worked for me. The first thing you need to do is to measure 2.5 ounces of isomalt crystals and place them on a clean and clear glass bowl. That will work just fine for one set of cookies. Next, place the crystals in a saucepan over medium-high heat with a candy thermometer attached. Immediately add a third of a cup of distilled water. Also make sure all the crystals are completely covered with a clean rubber spatula. Allow the isomalt to reach 330 Fahrenheit. The key here is to learn to be patient since this process can take between 7 to 10 minutes. Once the isomalt is ready, place your cookies on parchment paper facing down and carefully fill them with the hot isomalt. You may notice a few small bubbles, but don't worry, you can dissolve them by carefully dragging them to the edges by using your scribe tool. Now you only have to allow the isomalt to cool and settle completely and that's it, your cookie is clear and ready to be decorated. Another way to use isomalt to decorate cookies is by using a silicone mold. Once you have cooked the isomalt like I previously showed you, just pour it into the molds. Next, allow them to dry completely. 
Once they are completely dry, pull them out of the mold and just like that, they are ready to be used as a decoration on your creations. I really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you'll learn something new. Also, if you like to see more videos like this one, please let me know in the comment section. If you like it, give me thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Ciao!